Hi there. Let's look at the next topic, which is theory of continental drift, as well as what plate tectonics are. We've talked about this before. When we look at the structure of the Earth, we know that it's made up of different layers. And the crust is not one absolute, complete, fused piece of land. The crust actually is broken up into what we call plates. And these plates, they float on top of the mantle and they move around. And so, as a consequence, these plates can wreak havoc on what's going on in the earth. And so let's talk about how the plates might cause something called continental drift. And so this is kind of a funny cartoon trying to poke fun at the fact that maybe the continents are moving as a consequence. Years ago, many, many years ago, it was believed that our continents were all one giant landmass called Pangaea. And over thousands of years, they started to move away from each other to the point where we are today, where we have North America, South America, Asia, Africa, India, Australia, and Antarctica. And so this is called Continental Drift Theory, and it was proposed by a guy named Alfred Wagner in 1912. So he said 250 million years ago, the continents were basically one supercontinent called Pangaea, and they gradually drifted apart. Now, with every theory, you have to have evidence. And so let's talk about what Wagner's evidence was. Well, probably the most obvious bits and pieces of evidence has to do with the following. If we put all the continents back together, they seem to fit. They fit like a puzzle almost. And so that was one of his biggest pieces of evidence was that the continents look like they fit together like a giant puzzle piece. Next, if we look at the distribution of fossils around the world, what we notice is Fossils like this brown stretch tend to show up in different continents that are separated now, but maybe not before, by large amounts of water. So we were finding creature, creatures fossils on different continents around the world. And Wagner said the only way that that's possible is if at one point the continents were connected same year there were similar fossils in Africa and South America so plant and animal fossils were found on all the coastal lines of the different continents next the sequence of rocks there were the same rock patterns found in South America India Africa Antarctica and Australia again how is this possible well, one idea was maybe they were all connected. Ancient climates also tell us that tropical plants, which are now coal deposits, were found in Antarctica, and glaciers in Africa, South America, India, and Australia <coughs> during the same time. However, there were or are some gaps or problems associated with Wagner's theory. He couldn't tell people back then what mechanism, what caused the continents or what was causing the continents to drift apart. And wind and currents could have possibly moved those fossils and the theory wasn't accepted by lots of scientists. So just to sum it up, similar fossils across the oceans, continentals, continents fit like pieces to the puzzle. There was actually mountain evidence and rock evidence. So, let's talk about the mechanism. 
one idea for the mechanism or what might force continents to drift apart is the mantle. The lower part of the mantle we know from the structure of the earth is liquid and it is believed that this liquid mantle causes a conveyor belt in the form of convection currents which take the continental plates and cause them to ride on top of the conveyor belt and move so the following will show you here are or here's what's happening we believe to the different plates the Pacific plate which is one of the biggest plates the Philippine plate the India Australia plate which includes Australia the Eurasia plate the African plate the South American plate etc and so what happens is these plates have boundaries and some of the boundaries which is the location where the two plates meet are moving apart some are moving together and some are sliding back and forth so a divergent boundary is a divergent boundary is moving away or apart and that creates rift valleys for example this East Africa rift convergent boundaries are where two plates are moving together and that can create islands and a trench for example in Japan and then Convergent boundaries sometimes meet and go under each other. And sometimes they push one another. And here's the third kind, a transform fault boundary where North America and the Pacific Plate are kind of sliding past each other instead. So they're not coming together they're not pulling apart but they're kind of sliding past one another and this is where the San Andreas fault comes into play and that causes a lot of tectonic activity so let's move on and let's talk about the video clip on plate tectonics. Dear Tim and Moby, what in the world is a Pangea? From Dan. Sounds like we need to get into the theory of plate tectonics. If you look at the shapes of Earth's continents, Africa and South America look like pieces of a puzzle that could snap together. This supports the theory that all of the continents were once one big continent called Pangaea. Scientists believe Pangaea existed about two or three hundred million years ago. Then it started to break apart, eventually forming the continents we see today. Now, it's not like they were floating. The ocean floor was moving too. The outer layer of the Earth, or crust, is broken up into about a dozen major and many minor tectonic plates. These plates float around on a layer of molten rock called the outer mantle. When the plates move, continents shift along with them in a process called continental drift. This motion explains why fossils of the same kinds of prehistoric animals were found on the northeast coast of South America and the southwest coast of Africa. Well, when the continental plates shift, you hardly ever notice the ground moving. Continents only move a few centimeters every year. Oh, yeah, I'm getting to that. Lots of things happen at those active boundaries between plates. Volcanoes, earthquakes, mountains, and trenches are all results of movement along plate boundaries. Divergent boundaries are where plates are moving apart, and new crust is created by liquid rock pushing up from the mantle. 
convergent boundaries are where plates are moving toward each other, and sometimes one plate sinks or is subducted under another. Transform boundaries are where plates slide horizontally past each other and cause friction. These plates are always moving, slowly changing the face of the Earth. Who knows what the world could look like in another couple of hundred million years? Oh yeah, sure, Moby.